What's up, everybody? It's your boy AD, and that's all day. And I'm here to do the SmackDown review for December 16th, 2022. The headline for the night was John Cena reveals he will team with Kevin Owens to fight Roman Reigns and Sami Zayn. And as you can see, he's all up there and whatnot. Well, this show, <clears throat> this show was actually, I mean, it was pretty much like the same. Like, everything kind of was a little predictable, but the ending was kind of exciting. And it got you wondering what's going to happen, I will admit. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, for those who don't know, I did live stream the last hour of this show. So, if y'all want to see, you know, watch along with us, see our reaction and what I thought about that was going on, I'm going to leave a link at the bottom. But I'll throw a few little sands on that. But if you want to get the real sand on that, go look at that. But the first hour, I'm going to go over real quick. And it started off with... Damage Control defeating Liv Morgan and Tegan Knox to retain WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. So, yeah, they finally got their tag team shot, you know, and <clears throat> it was pretty it was pretty obvious. Like, I figured that, you know, they were going to lose. It was a pretty decent match. Bailey, what happened to Bailey? I think Bailey, and I say the only thing, crazy thing about this match was that secret person who came out in the crowd and just grabbed Bailey. I don't know who it was, and and I and they like it. Cause a lot of stuff happened like on the side because Bailey did get involved, which I knew. I'm like, oh shit, Bailey gonna get involved. She did, and then next thing you know, someone jumped out in the hoodie, attacked Bailey, and then just ran off. Or it was EO and one of them, and then just ran off. And I couldn't see who it was, but if I had to guess, I'm like. I'm like, maybe Nikki Cross, maybe, because of the way they was moving kind of quick. Nikki is kind of a little fast. I don't know. They never really mentioned it later or tried to give hints neither, so that's something to keep our eye on, though. And I didn't really think that they were going to give it to Tegan and Liv because, you know, they kind of just became a tag team, like, literally a week or two ago, right? Like, they literally just became a tag team. So, I didn't, you know, it's kind of hard to give the belts to someone who literally just got together. I will admit, though, this was the best outfit that I've seen um, Tegan wear. Because Tegan's stuff has been kind of off these past couple weeks, especially that first week. But this week, this week was the best look I felt like she had. And she should probably keep that. <clears throat> All right, let's see what else we got. Um... L.A. Knight got confounded by Bray Wyatt and Uncle Howdy. So this is this is blue. Y'all know, man, I don't really like, I'm really getting tired of this Uncle Howdy, Bray Wyatt stuff. I'm really getting tired of seeing that creepy uh, unky, uh, Uncle unky Howdy dude, whatever the fuck. I'm tired of seeing it, man. It's weird. So they show a TikTok video of, a, I guess, Bray or Howdy kidnapping him. And rubbing his face all weird with a glove, and he had, and L.A. Knight had like a mask on. It was just really weird. Like I said, man, wrestling, y'all really making wrestling really weird, man. Especially when it comes to Saturday. Just imagine someone just walking in, not knowing this wrestling, and seeing this on the screen. They're gonna be like, "What the hell is this?" And then they're gonna be like, "This is wrestling." Like, yeah, this is wrestling. What? <laughs> they were like, "What?" But, um, yeah, so Bray Wyatt came out, ran his mouth or whatever, and showed the footage. Then L.A. came out, and L.A. just started attacking Bray Wyatt. Now, this part was wild to me because L.A. Knight just got started beating Bray Wyatt down, man. I mean, just beating him up. Like, like you would think Bray would have put up more of a fight or something, but he didn't. He just got beat down in the corner, right? And then that's when Uncle Howdy shows up through the entrance. This weird-looking dude, man, showing up through the entrance, acting like, oh, oh, I'm here. Look at all this smoke and all this gas. Oh, I'm here. Get afraid of me. It's me, Uncle Howdy. I have a weird mask on and a big top hat and ugly hair. Ooh. And then it ended. And then, and then the say, and then L.A. Knight just runs out the ring like he all scared, and Bray and them are just laughing, and it's, oh man, so bad. This is so bad, man, so bad. I, I, and I knew it too when I was watching it. I knew it. I'm like, watch this segment in right here. 
All right, so this is where we jumped in. We jumped in like halfway through this match, and it was Gunther versus Ricochet to retain the Intercontinental Championship. And it was a long, drawn-out match. You already know. Ricochet put up a good show. Gunther did pretty decent. You know they were going to go. They they had a decent IC title bout in the past. They Here we go again, right? And, man, you would think Ricochet was going to pull this. Ricochet was pulling out, like, some of his best moves and stunts, and he still ended up losing from, like, a sidewalk slam or something. They really need to figure out what Gunther's finishers are because y'all got him doing that power mom one second and then doing other moves that don't seem like finishers another moment. Like what Ricochet did was way more theatrical and and, and felt way more to like a finish or a close while Gunther, it just seemed like he just hit you with a regular move and then it was just over just like that with not much of a, anything, really. So... That's the only disappointment to me about the match was the finish and Ricochet losing because I already knew he was going to lose, right? I already predicted him to lose and I already predicted Braun Strowman to be the next one thrown in. And right afterwards, they were about to jump Ricochet, you know, uh, Gunther and his goons. They were about to jump him. And then that's when uh, Braun Strowman ran, ran in to protect Ricochet. So, again, he's going to go for that title shot soon and get thrown right into it. Didn't have to win no World Cup or nothing. So it's like, what was the point of the World Cup if it was just going to go to Braun Strowman anyways, just out of nowhere? You know what I'm saying? So, and now next week, Braun and Ricochet are on teams against Gunther's lackeys. So you know nine times out of ten they're going to win that match next week. <laughs> and, yeah, as you can see, um... And we had Hit Row, right? Legato Del Phantasm and the Viking Raiders do a triple threat. Um, Hit Row actually won this, which was a huge shock. Was not was surprising about that. Again, go and see my stuff if you want to see uh, the reaction to this and what we really thought. Because I thought it was going to be Raiders, but then again, it was a triple threat. It wasn't a one on one. Like, later would have been like Raiders versus any one of them. Raiders would have won. But since it was like three, and Hit Row hasn't gotten nothing lately. So I guess they felt like they had to give them something because they literally been dry for like over a month. So. Right, Ronda and Shayna attack Raquel, who arm was apparently beginning to heal. Now they jump her. That's all Ronda and Shayna do, too, is just run around attacking people backstage. And here we go again. Just jump Raquel and held her arm up on the wall and kept kicking her arm, trying to break her arm. You know her arm already messed up, but no matter what Raquel is going through, I still feel like Raquel might be the next one in line to take that belt from uh, Ronda. If Charlotte don't come back or nothing, I'll say it'll be Raquel because Raquel is another one who's clearly more favored than the other ones and who's been being protected with this little injury. And Raquel is going to be adding to this six women battle royal next week on SmackDown, and whoever wins gets the title shots. And Raquel is in there, so I'm going with Raquel on that one. Um, right. I don't now. I don't know why Jay was telling Jimmy that he should, he's might be disappointed because they were like, "Oh, Roman might not be here," but then he ended up being there. So I don't really understand what that was about. Maybe he will get disappointed. They kind of made it seem like it because in the end, Roman came out. I mean, it was a segment earlier where he got Adam Pearce and he told him he wanted to have a tag match with Sammy against Kevin Owens and someone else because he felt like Kevin Owens is a nuisance. So Sammy, you know, thinking he finna be on the Oos and all of this and thinking everything's finna be all good, you know, he kind of was acting scared this whole time. And we're honestly like he just didn't want to get involved with this. He even Sammy even went as far as saying that that was his friend. So, again, I don't want to talk too much about this because I would like y'all to go watch the stream and check it out. But um, and it was only an hour long. But um, yeah, at the end of the day, he basically was like, yeah, I think he's doing this to basically prove like Sammy. It's like Sammy always got to somewhat prove himself, I guess, whatever, because now he's booking a match with him. And I think that if he can prove himself right to take Kevin Owens out, I think then 
that's when Roman will be like, all right, you're really, really in now, even though it's still weird. You've been around all this time. And the new T-shirts are crazy, too. Them T-shirts are wild. People going to probably buy those. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see where this goes. We will see where this goes with Sami Zayn. Because, um, you know, I'm a little excited because at, at first they were like, oh, any partner he wants, mystery partner. And then out of nowhere, John Cena pops up on camera out of nowhere backstage and shoots a hell of a promo that got me really going. Like, that promo was actually lit. And he was like, yeah, me and Kevin Doors, he sent me a text. We finna get in your ass. Duh, 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 duh. I'm like, damn, man. Now, this was probably the best part of the night was the very end and then roman was like yeah you know roman he like man i ain't worried about this shit man this ain't nothing this ain't nothing so that's gonna be cool as hell to see because honestly in my head i was starting to get worried i think we was talking about that in the live stream too we was like man i was like man so roman just ain't gonna wrestle to like wrestlemania because i doubt he even gonna wrestle in royal rumble i doubt it right so I'm like, is he just going to wait till WrestleMania? Good. We get a match with him next week on SmackDown. Cool. All right. Cool. And it's him and Sami Zayn, which I'm like, uh, like, okay, whatever. But at the same time, this is interesting because you know him and Kevin Owens supposedly supposed to be booed up, uh, whatever. And now Kevin Owens is going to be with John Cena. So this is going to be good. We get to see Roman and John Cena. This is going to be good. This is going to be good next week, man. Um, what would I get is so, hmm. Um, this match was okay. Not that great. Okay. And the mystery guest. The LA Knight part, uh, Bray Wyatt part sucked. Gunther Ricochet was okay. Um, that was a surprise. Now, the three-way between, you know what, something else about that match, Dale Fantasma was doing some real nice moves in this match, too. That was like, I was like, okay. That was kind of cool. Like, it was some stunts being pulled in this match. This match wasn't bad, though. But in the shock that hit Raw won, so I guess this was all right because that was actually a little surprising. And then the ending, which was, like, the best. So, uh, like a two. Mm, I guess, yeah, like two. 2.5 at the most. Yeah. Not that great of a show. Uh, as you can see, a lot of time got dragged, too, as you can see. Like, you know, not some stuff happened. But whatever happened tended to be a lot longer than normal. So, again, I'm going to leave that link down there for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this one. You know I always do. And... Hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you think. Next SmackDown is going to be lit, so I can't wait for the next SmackDown. And you never know, you might see me live for the last hour of Raw. So peace out, everyone, and I'll see you guys probably on the 19th. Peace out.